Good afternoon, everyone. Um, we are into the success story, and uh, we are having Aisha with us. Hey, Aisha. Good afternoon. Aisha, uh, you are still on mute, I believe. Hey, okay, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Aisha. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good as well. Uh, thanks for joining uh, for the success story, Aisha. Uh, so, Aisha, a, a very quick introduction about yourself. Sure, sir. Uh, first of all, I would uh, like to ask, sorry, I'm not well. My, I don't know how my voice is uh, getting. I got a cold. Uh, no, because it's, it's of the okay. It's I absolutely read. fine to hear. Don't worry about it. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, so, yeah. Um, uh, so, yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm Aisha Libna. I basically come from the information science and uh, technological background uh, with uh, uh, graduation in BE with a CGP of 8.2. After completion of my graduation, I headed to Bangalore in uh, February itself. Uh, me, with my uh, six to seven friends, we decided and choose uh, the Data Mites uh, Institute uh, to do the course as well as internship in artificial intelligence. So yeah, after the completion of our graduation, we came to Bangalore. Uh, we are done with the placements. We are done with the complete course. We are done with the internship. And yeah, now I'm here. All right. So, uh, so which company you 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 got the job in, Aisha? Yeah, it's it's five C Network. As a as a data analyst. As a data analyst. So you yeah. did a, a CDS or CDA? Uh, so I come from a strong AI, ML and data science background. I have completed mm -hmm. my complete training in artificial intelligence like machine learning. I have worked on multiple uh, real world projects involving NLP dashboarding as well. But I really enjoy the data visualization. I really enjoy data analytics. I love to present the data. That's the reason I'm into data analytics. All right. So the core part is that you love to present data. You love, exactly. uh, love those, uh, you know, the dashboards making exactly. and, and, and making. To provide the business insights, actually. Understanding yeah. the concept deeply, not just memorizing and all. Yeah, yeah. I can understand. Of course, you have to have that uh, concepts. There's no point of just making red, blue, green unless and, until you do not understand the concepts of the data. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, Aisha. So thank you so much, first of all. Um, and thank you so much for telling about your journey as well. So how did you prepare? You said that uh, you came to Bangalore once you completed your graduation, right? So in which stream, if so pardon, in which stream did you complete your graduation? So I have completed my graduation in information science and technology. IT. Yeah, IG stream. Then... Uh... Our eight, after completion of our 7 sim and 8 sim we have complete internship uh, the college was asking to provide the complete internship offer letter mm -hmm. uh, so yeah we uh, we were 7 people 7 friends who chose data mites after a lot of decision and after a lot of checking reviews and googles and all so we headed to data mites in February then we have ended up completing the internship in the first 4 months itself along with the okay. course the course okay. was till December, yeah. I, I, I got it. Means you, you were into your, um, uh, you know, studies, engineering basically, and eventually you completed the internship from the data mites as well, right? Right. Okay. Good to know about it. So, how did you find the learning over here? I would say, sir, learning, uh, see, first, uh, after completion of the certain modules, what did the data science as a, uh, Artificial intelligence is the extension of data science, right? So we have completed data science first. Then we went to the AI expert. After uh, done with all the modules, after done with all the complete learnings, it was the mock interview. Uh, I heard many of the people, many of the students uh, did not crack the, don't crack the mock interview within the first attempts. But, but by the God's grace, uh, I got cracked the mock interview within my first attempt. And okay. then... I started uh, applying for the placements and yeah. Okay. So uh, since you said that you, you did like mock interview in the very first attempt itself. Uh, so can I assume that you had a prior understanding of uh, Python, SQL or whatever, which is related with the data science or you learned in these four months itself? 
so uh, uh, python yes uh, we have the basic understanding uh, from our college itself but uh, data mites also provided us with a deep understanding of the python but honestly my strong preparation in the python sql and data science concepts mainly happened during these four months only these four months were very much focused and to i received basic went in uh, to the deep down practiced a lot and even worked on the projects as well i didn't just learn what to do i even learn why we do and where it is used basically so okay i would say that it's a mix uh, basic proposal which is earlier but uh, which gives a real clarity and confidence uh, came okay during this four months itself oh, i understand so why i asked this question because i was just trying to uh, confirm that since you're from it so did you had like a prior understanding of all these things because uh, if if i ask like did you had the prior python experience or you started it over here i have a prior python experience too but it was a subject in our uh, uh, during my fourth to fifth semester there was a subject called python Okay. Okay. yeah So, 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 since you have you you cracked the mock interview and you you got the placements and you know you you that's why you're over here. I just want to know that uh, how much important is Python and SQL? Forget about the data science or analytics. How important is Python and SQL? Just okay so python and sql is very important basically we are using python uh, in data analytics when we are playing with the data when we are uh, doing something with the data then python and sql are extremely important not just for the data science or analytics but in general also that they are very important sql is essential because almost all real world data lives in database right if you want to work with the data or in any role like sql is non negotiable right it helps you extract or filters and understand the data very efficiently i would say and um, if we'll talk about the python python on the other hand helps us to automate task and what do you call uh, analyze the data as well then build logics even the on the data rules I I I got got your point. I got your point. Why I said that that when you were preparing for the interview or for the placements, which were the areas you were focusing more? Okay, so uh, during our interviews, we focused a lot on Python only. My mock interviews was basically on AI expert only. Uh, the questions were on machine learning, SQL, Python, and statistics. Yeah. Okay. So I didn't give the mock interview as a data analyst. I given the mock interview as an AI expert, as in data science. Yeah, so that's okay. That's absolutely fine because, uh, uh, of of course, you never know. Like uh, even the data analyst that you are talking about right now, if Even I in, if even if I interview like six months after, it might be possible you are into the AI. So it's it's yeah, quite yeah. quite Let's okay let's to, to have that. let's uh, let's taste everything. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. That it's it's okay. The the common thing is this is is the same. It's it's just the the different aspect the way it is being told to. So, um, you said that you focused more on Python, SQL, machine learning, and statistics, isn't it? Yes. All right. When you went into the interview, what kind of questions were asked actually? Okay. When I went into the interview, the first questions were completely scenario based questions. They wanted to check uh, the uh, thinking. What kind of uh, think? What kind of she can think? Like a, a person can Okay. think. They asked me. They given me the assignment, uh, which consisted of thirty five questions. It were uh, it also has statistic questions as well as SQL based questions as well as well as scenario based questions too. Okay. Then um, they asked me that it should uh, do as how much you can do. Okay, we just want to understand your thinking, your point of view. Okay. It was like business related questions, decision making questions, what we think about the business and all and all. So after completion of that, I got a call from the placement team that um, you are shortlisted for the first round. Then uh, the second round was taken by HR. Okay, the so in the second round, I was going through the SQL based query questions. They asked me on the Python and SQL fundamentals, like how can I handle the data, basic queries as well, joins and problem solving logic logics also. Then after that, um, yeah, after having uh, they asked me to write the programs on uh, Python also.
after the completion of mm-hmm. i was also selected in this round uh, the placement team gave me a call that you are shortlisted mm-hmm. in this round as well all right all right yeah good good and then the good, third actually. round it was completely with the manager the manager even even at that time he asked me about this ql questions and mm-hmm. the basic understanding uh, about the statistics and all and all all right all right aisha uh, so aisha how did you prepare your resume okay so the flow of the data mites i would say is very good they actually uh, take us with a smooth flow they help us mm-hmm. to uh, build the resume as well after completion of our m- mock when we are eligible for the placements one once when we crack the mock they'll uh, take us for the resume preparation okay mm-hmm. yeah they'll help us to prepare the resume in a way that it could crack the ats score okay then after completion of the good resume preparation uh it will be uh, the profiles will be shared for the interviews and for the companies all right uh good to know so what kind of projects you have put in inside your resume uh, was that a data mice project or the projects from outside uh, all the uh, projects in my resume are from data mice only sir okay 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 good good to know about it yeah. so uh, so did you did you do anything apart from what the data mites has given i'm just asking any other project that you have done out of your curiosity or something uh basically uh, during our eight, eight sem- no during our semester seventh semester uh, we did the project okay it was the project was ai content generation app which i with my team did it then after some in seventh semester we didn't do anything outside from the data mites we all only focused mainly on the data mites thing data mites learning whatever the data mites task they are giving us nothing other than that okay so basically you had like uh, all the projects which were there in in the data mites uh, basically in your resume right as, exactly as all right uh, aisha since um, you just came out of your college did your internship and got a job so of course you are a fresher yeah. how much hour per day in studies we have to give how much hour per day in studies yeah. okay so is, is, is there is is there, before you answer is there any uh, shortcut no i'm a fresher i can relate to this question like very well so honestly mm-hmm. it's not about studying or for very long hours it's just about being consistent and focused only on an average i would say i used to spend around 2 to 3 hours uh, other than institute timings mm-hmm. and those were uh, very disciplined like i is i is just not used to study i used to just uh, have a hands on experience on the basic project understanding where th- does this logic come from what mm-hmm. syntax are you using for what some days mm-hmm. it was more some days it was less some days i was more consistent also i divided my time between python and sql working on the projects between them so even 2 to 3 hour focused daily i done it sincerely i would say but data right. mites training data mites things are enough okay so um, so aisha um i have a question like uh, since uh, while learning data science we have to focus on multiple aspects like we talked about like python sql and whatever so is there any way you can suggest to our people your friends uh, that you know in this way you should study because I, i i did some you know success story and alumni talk alumni talk basically so she advised me that uh, python sql is very very important and it has to be practiced on a daily basis do you agree with this yes i would definitely agree with this python and sql is definitely very important so if i would suggest someone i would say i would, um, as you said i completely agree with that in data science there are a multiple aspects like python sql statistics machine learning and of the core pro- something core projects as well but mm-hmm. i would suggest a way to study it's all python and sql okay practice small problems every day okay not just read actually code and solve the queries okay then concept like machine learning and statistics revise daily try to connect them to the real data set not just what you are getting try it with a new data set you will get it on google kaggle anywhere okay and projects mm-hmm. apply what you have learned immediately 
do something project related to that only immediately when you're learning so your concept can get uh, reinforced so basically a mix of daily coding plus concept clarity as well as Concept answer. yard, exactly. and uh, project uh, applications uh, works really well consistency would matter more than the long hours i would say That is absolutely correct. And same, same for her, same for you and same for me. You have to have coding plus theoretical things to be done on a daily basis. And it has to be ideal. Like you can't just have, you have to, that's why where the, the discipline comes from. You have to be disciplined regarding what you are doing. Uh, great to know. So uh, Aisha, did you start working yet or you are yet to join? No, sir, I'm yet to join. Uh, they asked me to join from this Monday itself. But I said that uh, this is the holiday week, the Christmas week is going on. Uh, we decided to go uh, to my hometown and then get back to work. So I asked, I can I join it from January? So yeah. I can understand completely that that is absolutely okay for that. So do you, do you know that what kind of work you are going to get? Uh, once again? Do you know what kind of work you are going to get? Yes, sir. It's basically a radiologist company, right? So Okay. uh, analyzing the reports, data analyst work is to analyze the reports, provides the insight uh, for the best, better decision making and all. Okay, So okay, I'll be mainly working on the data cleaning, data visualization and reporting, uh, building dashboards and helping the business uh, to make the data driven decisions. okay. Yeah. And I think I'll be also working closely with the stakeholders also to understand the requirements The requirements. and provide the actionable insights for the company from the data. Yeah, yeah, that that is that is that is correct, Aisha. All right, uh, that's uh, actually a great uh, talking with you, Aisha. We actually Yes. covered all the aspects about how to crack an interview and how many, you know, how do we actually study, how many hours we should study, and which areas we have to focus on. Thank you so much, uh, Aisha, for giving us time for the success story. Let me ask team if we have any question. Team, do we have any question? I have, I think, you in Q and A. In the interviews, was there any questions from the project section? Interviews main, uh, yeah, and inter you are talking about the mock interview or No, no, the real interview. When okay. you have that resume, it must be having some in you know Yes, projects that you have yes, mentioned. yes. The interviewers basically ask the questions from your uh, projects as well. They they wanted to understand like what did you understand from the project or uh, from the model you built. So yeah, there were questions from the projects as well. All right. Uh, It was most of them was project based questions only when we are into uh, ML, uh, ML roles or data science roles will get the project uh, will get the questions based on project based. They'll ask me to explain mm project end to end, like the problem statement. How did you clean the data? What the techniques did I apply for the data? Why I choose that particular model as well? And they also -hmm. Mm -hmm. ask the, the scenario based questions related to the projects like how Will I handle the missing data? What metrics Okay. I would track? Then Good. also the questions they would like to understand uh, from our point of view, like what do we think? The questions will be like, if the website is down, the customers are so hectic, how you will uh, tolerate them and all and all. Blah. They'll, they'll understand you. They'll try All to right. understand you. So it's all about that. They want to know whether you have done or somebody else has done. Because Yeah. if you have done, you will be able to answer all those questions. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we don't have any questions from LinkedIn and YouTube. All right. Then uh, I think that's uh, quite a good talk with you, Aisha. And uh, I hope you are really best in your future. And uh, I eventually want to come to the AI. I mean, data analytics is good, of course. And uh, better that you switch immediately to the artificial intelligence. And that you will be for sure, 100%. I can see that. Yes, So... I'll be. Yeah, for sure. So thank you so much, Aisha, for being here. Uh, of course, we'll meet uh, somewhere, someplace. And uh, thank you so much, team, for uh, this uh, success story. We, we're going to meet in the next success story as well. Thank you, Aisha. Thank Thank you, team. Thank Thank you, you, sir. everyone. I really appreciate your kind words and encouragement. Sure. Thank you so much, Aisha. Thank you.